Welcome to this tutorial video on basic internet skills. The purpose of this video is to provide you with the skills you need to perform basic searches on the internet. After watching this video, you'll be able to describe the internet, define basic internet terminology, and perform basic internet searches. Let's begin by covering what the internet is. In general terms, the internet can be defined as data lines that spread across the globe, allowing billions of people to share information. This shared information can take many forms, such as, but not limited to, text, pictures, and videos. People can access this information through devices such as, but not limited to, computers, laptops, mobile phones, and tablets. The reasons that people use the internet are endless, but some of the most common ones are shown on your screen. First, there's research. If you want to know anything about anything, you can typically find that information on the internet. Think of the internet as an infinite encyclopedia set, dictionary, thesaurus, and any other kind of reference materials you can think of, all rolled into one. Then there's business information. If you want to know a store's hours, street address, phone number, and what kind of merchandise they carry, you can typically find that on the internet. In many cases, you can even get directions to the store's locations. Think of the internet as a limitless yellow pages and set of catalogs. Next, there's email. Internet service providers often provide subscribers with email accounts so you can send electronic letters, pictures, and videos to almost anyone who also has an email address. There are other websites that will provide email addresses for free to folks who do not have an internet service provider. So you can think of the internet as an electronic United States Postal Service. Then there's shopping. Many businesses have a website on which you can buy their merchandise and have it shipped to your house. There are even some websites that do the comparison shopping for you. Remember when you would have to travel from store to store in order to get the best price for exactly what you wanted? Now, the internet can do that for you while you're sitting on your couch. Finally, there's entertainment. Movies, television shows, magazines, books, and music are all available on the internet. In most cases, you must pay a fee to access these, but most people believe they're worth the price. Think of the internet as a movie theater, video rental store, music store, and cable TV all rolled into one. And as I'm sure you can imagine, this list is not an all-inclusive list. In order to easier understand how to navigate the internet, there are some basic terms that may be helpful. First, there's a web browser. This is a software program that allows you to find and read documents on the internet. Common web browsers are Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. A lot of these web browsers also function as search engines. Speaking of search engines, a search engine is a software program that searches for and identifies items on the internet that correspond to the keywords you enter into it. Common search engines are Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Ask. Another term that may be helpful is a Uniform Resource Locator, also known as a URL. A URL is an address that you can use to locate a specific website or file on the internet. URLs commonly begin with www, http, or https. Next, we have a hyperlink. A hyperlink is words or phrases on a website that will connect you to another website when you click on them. Typically, hyperlinks are blue in color and they may also appear purple if you have clicked on that hyperlink previously. Many people refer to them simply as links. Then there's bookmark. A bookmark is a saved shortcut that directs your web browser to a specific page, such as www.scenicregional.org or www.amazon.com.
bookmarks are often used to mark websites that you visit regularly. And then finally, we have home page. A home page is a starting point or the front page of a website. Home pages often contain menus and links that will take you to other pages within the same website. Now let's move on to how to perform basic internet searches. In order to perform a basic internet search, you'll begin by double clicking on the web browser that you wish to use. I'm going to use Google Chrome. Once that opens, you'll type your key search words into the search engine's search box. Then press the enter key on your keyboard. You'll notice that a lot of hyperlinks appear that match the keywords that you've typed in. So you simply need to click on a hyperlink that looks like it might lead to the information that you want. And then that website will be displayed. Every website you visit will look a little different. However, most websites have some things in common in terms of the way they're organized. First, let's talk about website menus. Most websites will have menus that allow you to access various kinds of information on that site. Menus will be in various places on the home page and may only be visible after clicking a menu button. For example, on the Scenic Regional Library website, the menu is located in this green bar. Any menu item that has a down arrow next to it will display a drop-down menu when you point at it. You can then click on any item in that drop-down menu to be taken to that page on the website. Walmart's menu, on the other hand, has a menu button, which looks like three lines located in the upper left. When you click on that, the menu displays. You can scroll down and click on any of these options to reveal additional menus and then go to those pages on the website. Now let's look at search features. Most websites, especially retail ones, have a search feature. You can type in what you're looking for and the site will provide you with a list of results that match what you typed. For example, on the Michaels website, the search option is located here. Type in what you're looking for, then click the magnifying glass and Michaels will search the website and display a list of options for you. On the Coles website, the search feature is located here. Type in what you're looking for and hit the enter key on your keyboard and Coles will provide you with a list of results that match what you typed in. Next, let's talk about the main pages of websites. Most websites have a lot of information on the main page. Let's look at Bath and Body Works, for example. You can scroll down the main page to see all of the information that the company is featuring at that point in time. Most retail websites will have sales or promotions they're currently running. Informational websites, for example, the eMissourian website, will feature topics that are either breaking news or trending or featured at that time. Before we end, I'd like to provide you with a few additional tips. If after clicking on a particular page on a website and you find that you're not getting the information that you either want or need, you can click on the back button to go back a page. The back button is an arrow pointing to the left, usually located in the upper left hand corner. Click it once and it will take you back to the previous page. If you find a website that you think you would visit often, you can bookmark that site or mark it as a favorite so that you don't have to search for it the next time. The bookmark or favorites button 
typically looks like a star and is located in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Simply click on that and then click add bookmark. It will ask you what you would like to call the bookmark. It will even suggest a name for you, but you can type in anything you'd like here. Once you've done that, click done and now that site is bookmarked. After bookmarking a website, you can access your bookmarks by clicking on the double arrow or the three dot menu. Clicking on that brings a drop down menu where you can then point your mouse at bookmarks and then all of your bookmarks will be listed here. That way you can get to that page very quickly without having to go through a search engine to find it again. Finally, Sometimes when you click on a link in a website, a new web browser window will open. You'll know that a new window has opened by looking at the top of your screen. If you see multiple tabs at the top of your screen, it means that you have more than one window open. You can click on tabs to switch back and forth between those websites. Hopefully, watching this video gave you enough information to perform basic internet searches so that you can start browsing the web with confidence. Thank you for watching.